our mistakes haunt us But do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp Cut me Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Faith Martini. In today's video, we are going to be doing a deep clean with me. I am going to be deep cleaning all of my appliances, my washing machine, my dryer, my dishwasher, my microwave and the range. I am not going to be doing the fridge today because that would have taken a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I'm just going to clean the other appliances and I'm going to explain to you some of the new ways that I'm using to deep clean those areas that will give you some ideas on how to uh, deep clean yours as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm actually going to get started first by turning on my range um, by actually um, studying it and setting it to 200 degrees so that I can actually warm that up uh, because I am going to be using an oven cleaner to actually clean it. Now that my oven is preheating, I am going to go ahead and get started on my dishwasher um, and I'm just showing you that it had a lot of prints on there. <laughs> my kids always touch everything so I get prints everywhere. So I'm just going to um, take the dishes out and then I'll start cleaning this. <laughs> Okay, so now that I, the dishes are out, I just kind of take a look at the dishwasher to see how it looks. So I noticed that there was a lot of food in there. So I first took out the uh, filter and I actually have a Whirlpool just in case you're um, wondering. So this is how the filter looks like in my dishwasher. Now this was so disgusting guys. Like, I mean, look at how nasty. I actually should be wearing gloves while doing this, but I uh, forgot got to wear gloves but look at just how disgusting this is um this is why it's so important to clean your dishwasher um and why i'm going to be doing it more often now but you know when you're washing dishes there's a lot of things that get stuck in there sometimes so it's really good to clean it um to make sure that it's clean so i just kind of took out some of the food that was stuck um, on the bottom there and then I'm going to actually um, start cleaning it and I decided to opt for a, ma a more natural cleaning method this time so I'm using vinegar here and I just put one cup into this little cup that my kids use to brush their teeth and then I'm just going to run it on the hottest cycle and this will just help the dishwasher to clean up any gunk anything that may be stuck in there and then with the filter, I'm just going to soak it in water and um, vinegar plus a little bit of uh, dish soap. And then I just soaked this in for about 30 minutes or so um, just to allow all the things to kind of release uh, from in there. Now that my dishwasher is running, I am going to get my washing machine running as well. So I'm going to get started here by adding in some baking soda. And because my machine has the sanitize option, I just selected that one instead. But if yours doesn't, then you just run it on the hottest cycle as well. So I'm just going to run this on the hottest and just allow the baking soda to clean the inside of my washing machine. By the time that I had those two set up, my oven was ready to go. So I just turned it off and then I sprayed on this Easy Off oven cleaner. <laughs> this thing is awesome, but it's so chemically like it. It has a lot of chemicals, which I don't mind, to be honest, because it does the job pretty, pretty effectively. 
so you definitely want to have a mask on when you're spraying this on because it is really really strong um so i'm just spraying it all over the place and i am very generous with the coating because i really had a lot of stuck on stains there so i wanted to make sure that everything was uh, that everything was going to come out and i decided to take out my um racks so that i can be able to do those separately but i'm just gonna spray the whole thing and then allow it to um to kind of penetrate the surface for uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes even longer depending on how tough the stains are and then after that you just wash it off see with the water the oven was pretty nasty and it really needed some deep cleaning and i just really love this product guys by the way i am going to list all of the products uh, that i'm using in this video in the description box so be sure to check the des description box to see um what products i'm using all of them all of my cleaning products are going to be listed down there and then i'm also working on listing other things that you guys may be curious about so if you're ever curious about something in the video make sure you check the description box so you can see what it is but i love using the easy off because it just does a good job of taking off everything and leaves the oven um looking pretty pretty clean the only thing about it is that it's so strong it actually removes the writing on the oven like the little um warning sign or whatever you want to call it that comes um in the oven like on the oven door it actually takes that out as well so that is one thing that i didn't like but other than that i just think it's it's really great product even though it's pretty chemical it has a lot of chemicals to it but let me know how do you clean your ovens um i used to do mine with baking soda but now i'm kind of switching that up a bit and using this just to make sure that i can get it clean as fast as possible because yeah life is a little busy nowadays <laughs> there were some stains that didn't really come off very well in this area so i just went in with the pink stuff to just take those all off and they came out pretty well too the pink stuff is also a really great product um for deep cleaning as well so i'll leave that down below as well and then after this i'm just going to spray the oven with um an all-purpose cleaner just to remove 
any residue that may be left over because with the um, oven cleaner sometimes it does leave a white film um, to the um, to the range so I usually like to spray it clean again I have been saying range a lot <laughs> ah, but you know what I mean <laughs> Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. So I just wanted to take a quick moment to say a huge thank you to Noom for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Noom is a consumer-led digital health platform that leverages a powerful combination of human coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their own health. Noom's approach to weight loss is different because they put more focus on science to help you meet and exceed your non-scale goals. Through their daily lesson plans, you are able to learn what foods are best for you and how certain factors in your life affect your ability to lose weight. Their exercise and food trackers help you keep track of the important stuff so you can crush your goals. If you're looking for a program that will guide you through your weight loss journey by helping you build better habits and change your thinking about food and weight loss, then click the link in the description to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick and easy and will help you create your custom plan. So the vinegar did a really good job of cleaning the dishwasher. So once it was done, I decided to actually add in some baking soda. Um, so I sprinkled on one cup of baking soda just to help um, freshen up and, you know, remove any additional uh, food and um, debris that may be uh, stuck in there. So I just sprinkled it in and then I set it to the lowest setting possible. Um, I didn't really add any heat to this just because it just was just an additional step that's not necessary but I wanted to actually do it. And then I just allowed that to clean and I moved on to cleaning my microwave. I know we're acting stupid By the way, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Faith Martini. I am a single mom to my boys Hodari and Milambu. On this channel, I post content on motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, and baby. I also have another channel, which is more of a vlog channel, where I just share with you like day-to-day -day, um, activities and whatnot. If you are interested in the content that you're seeing right now, be sure to click the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more content. Let me know in the comments what you're cleaning as you're watching me or as you're listening to me. <laughs> um, and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. So are you happy now? Things just got so crazy from a simple maybe. It was a long way down. I just feel so heavy without you. Everything we want was just so pretty.
So by the time that I finished cleaning my microwave and everything else, my washing machine had already finished the cycle that I put it on with the baking soda. So now I'm just cleaning the inside. And I was I was cleaning inside. I found something in there. Um, gosh, you, it's so surprising all the things that can be stuck inside this thing. It's crazy. Um, so I'm just going to wipe it down completely. And then with my dryer, I also did the same thing, just wiped it down. Um, and then I use, don't really have a um, hose that could fit in between the, the dryer vent so that I could actually, like, you know, suck up all of the lint so i just had to wipe that area down and you'll see that here shortly i had to wipe that area down with um my microfiber clothing instead of using a vacuum <laughs> i just wanted to give you that explanation just in case you're wondering why i didn't use a vacuum for that section but that's pretty much what i'm gonna do here and then i'm just going to clean the filter for the vacuum and for the dishwasher as well I feel so lonely now Walking through the cold streets Where you used to hold me You know it's been a while Ever since I saw you Oh baby Everything we were was just so pretty Pretty enough to almost make me blind Still denying everything you told me I'll repeat it I cannot believe that it's already October like it's it's crazy how fast this year has gone like we are already um, almost at the end of the year like it, it's just unbelievable um, let me know in the comments were you able to accomplish any of the goals that you wanted to accomplish this year I mean there's still time to accomplish it but it's still it's like oh my gosh it's just going by so fast like I don't know where the time is rushing to like just slow down <laughs> I feel like my life has been mostly the same like when you're a stay-at-home mom like it, it's, it seems like the days are just the same <laughs> and it's kind of you just feel like it's kind of all just gone away from you like oh my gosh but I love being a stay-at-home walk from home mom because I'm able to be there with my kids and not have to worry about taking them to you know daycare and whatnot but still it, it does get lonely and you do feel like time is just passing you by and you're still kind of waiting to do the things that you wanted to do <laughs> Mistakes haunt us, but do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. 
And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too far apart, everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes.
by the way guys i also will have um, a blog post in correspondence with this video i'm still working on it um that will just list all the different uh, methods that i'm using to clean my appliances so if you're interested in like a in-depth like step-by-step -step guide on how you know i cleaned them then definitely head over to singlemommywinning.com uh, to check that out i will post the blog post once i'm done uh, writing it up um, as well but you can always check the description box for that um, just in case you wanted to get a step-by-step -step guide on how to you know clean them because in this video I was kind of all over the place um, you know just going from one appliance to the next to maximize uh, time so if you want to see that in detail or read that in detail then you can definitely check out my blog post And then the last thing that I needed to do today was to just clean my floors. And guys, I have been using this Pine Soul Multi Surface Cleaner and it is so good. It smells so good. I love it so much. Um, so I'm just going to mop the floors. But yeah, I love that one. I have been using the Mr. Clean before, um, but this one smells so good. Like, I just love it but this is it guys this is the end result my appliances have been deep cleaned and they look and perform a lot better now <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below um let me know what you cleaned with me today and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye